Welcome everyone to a new episode of Time to Football. I'm your host, Hassan Khan. It's week 17. A lot is on the line with the NFL playoffs. But in this video, we're going to talk about one team, one player in particular, that unfortunately will not play in the postseason in 2019, but potentially could in 2020 because he's going to be a stud next year, and that is Kyler Murray of the Arizona Cardinals. We're going to give you reasons why this early on we already believe that Kyler Murray will be a breakout player in 2020. So for you guys that are fantasy football fans, we said it on the show, he's going to be a highly touted quarterback in 2020. We're going to break down and explain to you one specific trend that's been happening with first round quarterbacks as of late. But before we get into that, we're going to mention our hungriest player of the week. Hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. For a second straight week, we give this award to an Arizona Cardinal. Last week it was Kenyon Drake, and this week, defensive end Chandler Jones had four sacks total and that upset victory against Seattle. A lot of people thought that they would go into Seattle and get their butts whooped, but Chandler Jones had other intentions, leading the Cardinals to a 27-13 victory and setting the franchise record for the most sacks in a single game. And that is why he is the hungriest player of the week. So now let's talk about Kyler Murray. The Arizona Cardinals are not fighting for a playoff spot this weekend. Unfortunately, they're eliminated. But I would say the season was still a success because you found your franchise quarterback in Kyler Murray. Here's why we believe that he's going to be absolutely incredible in 2020. So you might think the reasoning is because there's a shift at the quarterback position. More dual threat quarterbacks are becoming more and more successful like Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes. He's not a dual threat per se, like those other three guys, but he can move outside the pocket and throw on the run. Kyler Murray is a dual threat quarterback, but that's not the reason. It's actually regarding the biggest myth when it comes to young quarterbacks. Have you ever heard that phrase that when a quarterback is drafted, they need to sit and learn in order to be successful? What if I told you historically, that's not true. As a matter of fact, it's been proven that quarterbacks that start at least 12 games their rookie year go on to have a big second season. In recent memory, people believe that quarterbacks need to sit and learn because they look at the situation with Aaron Rodgers. He sat for three years behind Brett Favre and he ended up being successful. Cool, he's the exception. Take a look at every quarterback drafted after Aaron Rodgers in the first round. From 2006 to 2017, there have been 37 quarterbacks drafted in the first round. We're not including the 2018 class because their second season isn't over yet, but just looking at those 12 years. Of those 37, 17 quarterbacks started at least 12 games their rookie season. Of those 17, 12 of them ended up having a successful second year. And when I say it was a success, I'm talking about lots of things, like at least 25 touchdowns, or had a winning record, or made the postseason, just lots of things. While five of them had an unsuccessful year. And that includes a terrible touchdown to interception ratio, losing record, things like that. So 12 to five is the ratio. That's 71% of quarterbacks that were successful when they were thrown into the starting lineup fairly early their rookie year. But why is that? Why are these guys successful in their second season? Think of it like a little kid that has an older brother that's maybe two, three, four years older than him. And this kid chooses to play with his older brother and his older brother's friends that are stronger, faster, smarter than this little kid. And this kid has to learn how to keep up with all of these guys. And that is the same thing as a quarterback. Throw them into the fire early, get the crap out of their system so that they can succeed in the future. True of a quarterback, true of any player, any skill or craft that anyone wants to perfect you have to make mistakes. You have to fail early on in order to get better. That's the same case with time to football. If you go back and you watch the very first video that we uploaded, it's crap, it sucks, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I had to make mistakes early on in order to get better. Rookie quarterbacks should be starting their rookie year as many games as they can. So the next time you see someone comment on social media or you see an expert on TV, say that a quarterback needs to sit and learn and not be rushed into an NFL start, just roll your eyes. They have no idea what they're talking about. I bet you they're basing everything off that scenario with Aaron Rodgers, how he sat for three years behind Brett Favre, 
which it's he was going to find success no matter what if he sat for three years or he started his first game his rookie season because it's Aaron freaking Rodgers. But relating all this back to Kyler Murray, Arizona did a great job treating this like a trial year for Kyler Murray. If you watch Kyler Murray play, there's a lot of resemblance to Russell Wilson. Wilson, as we know, started every game his rookie season. In his second season, Wilson found success and won the Super Bowl. What does 2020 hold for Kyler Murray? But I want to hear everyone's opinion in the comments section. Leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on Kyler Murray going into 2020? And do you believe that rookie quarterbacks should sit and wait? Or do you believe that they should start as soon as possible? Leave a comment down below, like this video, and also be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with a new video every single week. Also, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at time to football. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next week.